Thanks, Katie. It is a WCCO Saturday morning tradition. The Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus joins us around Christmas to start your day with a song. Of course, like most performances in 2020, their year end show moved online this year. But Micah Gusnack spoke with the chorus's artistic director to bring you a taste of their holiday hot dish. Everything goes into a hot dish. Uh, that's kind of like the music that we're offering. <laughs> So you'll get a little bit of the classical music. You'll get some of the Twin City Gaiman's Chorus Camp that you love, and you'll get some beautiful new music. Uh, including a new commission that was commissioned by, uh, led by Twin City Gaiman's Chorus, and 13 other gala courses around the country, and one local high school, Centennial High School, joined on. And it's a piece called Heavy, and it's written by Cincinnati-based composer Steve Malloy, and we commissioned it to honor the life of George Floyd. And um, it's going to be a pretty special virtual choral piece in that program. Harold, you mentioned how people have been uh, essentially singing alone at home and having that end up being what makes up the final performance. That has got to be hard under any circumstance, but particularly when a lot of what you guys do, or at least some of what you guys do, is a cappella and definitely needs to be pitch perfect. How, how did these, these talented singers even go about doing that? So we basically create karaoke tracks for the singers, um, and those become our rehearsal tools as well. So when they're at home rehearsing, what we would do is on my side, I would mute them all, I would push the track, and I would play their parts along with them. Um, and, and one of the hardest things for them and for me, like I mentioned before, is that we can't hear each other. <laughs> then once they've rehearsed the music, then they're at home, and they would watch that guide track video on the screen with earphones in and pick up mic picking up what they sing, but not the guide track. Um, then we would clean up that guide track, layer all the voices over top of it, and then it goes into um, music editing software uh, where hours and hours of work go into making it sound like it's something you want to hear. The because the first time you hit play on that recording, it, it lets you know you have a challenge in front of you. In addition to the performance, Carol, what else can people who are watching today do to help sort of interact with the Twin Cities Game Men's Chorus this year? That's a wonderful question. Um, during that concert, um, we'll have the chance to text to give. Uh, the concert is free, so anyone will be able to uh, access that online and then um, give during the concert like you normally would charge a ticket, and this way you're just free to give whatever, but we do have a patron subscription program that you can join, which gets you access to all of our um, virtual content for the year, and you get some special perks with being a patron subscription, like uh, we just put together a cookbook, which is a bunch of fabulous recipes from the chorus members, um, fun aprons, um, delivered cookies to your door. So there's all kinds of fun perks that come along with, with this specific concert of being a patron subscription member. And Gerald told us there's a spring concert already planned as well as a pride event in the summer. If you'd like to learn more about the chorus, donate or watch Holiday Hot Dish, just head over to WCCO.com slash links and we'll get you there. Right now, though, we'd like to share a performance from the Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus, which includes a dance number. Mm -hmm. 